Hi guys, it's a beautiful morning from the countryside town of Kitale. Kitale representing, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> enough of goofing around. Uh, welcome to the channel. My name is uh, The Village Wanderer. And today we are going to create a Keyapo seedling bed. Uh, Keyapo, better known as Kayapa. And uh, Kayapa is a very, very important plant in Kenya, used for so many purposes, especially, uh, especially for fencing. So, uh, what we have behind me is the Kayapo, the Kayapo plant, and uh, it's a very critical uh, part of uh, many homesteads used for fencing like i said earlier and as you can see this thorn here is very little if it pokes you very very little as in it's very painful so it's a very effective plant for for, for fencing so this uh we're going to harvest fruits from the plant and I'll take you through the whole process of what it takes to create Kayapa seedlings or Kayapo, better known as Kayapa. And then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take it from there. Remember when I was with Nairobi teacher, I ate the, the fruit for the first time and it tasted okay. I have never eaten the fruit before. I had never eaten the fruit before. So it was very interesting that it's here, but it's not something that I thought I could eat but I ended up eating it and it tasted okay so maybe uh, it might just be something that I eat more often oh Ike is behind there Ike Ike hello hello how are you doing say hi to the people over there I'm talking to the guys uh, so I know we did a vlog uh, we did yesterday about Preteen, and I was serious about that as well. But today we're going to look at a different topic, as you might already heard from my dad. So I just want to say hello, how are you doing, guys? And I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Thanks, Ike. So yeah, so uh, we'll get to the process of picking the kayapa, the kayapa seeds, the kayapa fruits and then harvest the seeds and i'll take you through the whole process and then from there uh yeah we'll plant them in the seed bed with uh, seeds that i had uh, prepared earlier so stay tuned to the end of the video and get to learn something new this these are actually very uh, costly seedlings they cost about five shillings each when they're ready so it's expensive buying them and if you can actually create your own seedbed and have them for your own use, maybe to create a fence somewhere, then uh, it's usually better that way. So these are the Kayapa fruits, which we usually harvest and then uh, leave them to get ready. And then from there we harvest the seeds. This is very nice fruits but these ones are still raw so once they are ready they are usually ready for harvesting there are more fruits yeah, quite a bountiful harvest over here bountiful harvest fruits that have fallen that I'm picking uh, I have this thing and I put them in this paper bag so as you can see these are raw fruits they are green fruits it's okay this time these are green fruits so by the time they're ready they'll be yellow yeah they'll be yellow so so 
come over. Let me show you fruits that I had already prepared much earlier. This is what we have here. Um, these ones are ready. These ones are ready to be squeezed so that we can harvest the seedling, the, the, the seeds. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. As you can see, there are so many, so many dudus, so many insects. What we call dudus. So many insects. Uh, yeah. So now, because they are ready to be moshed, I just, please focus on the, I just mosh them like this and make sure the juice is out. So it's a process that goes on and on and on and on and on. Yellow juice. Oh dear, we have a we have a hole. A hole here. So this is essentially meant to get the seeds out. So these seeds are going to dry for a number of days, so we just leave them in the sun. Uh, this, this is the seeds, this, these are the seeds, these are the seeds. just leave them to dry and remember this is the process of creating kayaba kayaba seedlings and uh, so right now what we're currently doing is we are harvesting the seeds bit of a messy job so yeah welcome to my world I was actually corrected that this is a monster and I know it but I don't know why I just keep on calling it magnolia but it's a monster and this is aloe vera very good for chicken usually used for, for, chi for chicken mm. yeah so this is a monster ah, this is a monster plant some of the dried kayapa seeds but I'm just putting them out to dry hey 
Jumbo, what is it? What is it, Jumbo? Look at these guys. You're having a small dog fight. Anyway, so these are small, the small Kayapa, the Kayapo seeds that I'm putting out to dry. And uh, these are what we'll be planting later on. So that's just the process of preparation for this. So once they're properly dry, then we, we plant them to the ground. And we hope they they germinate well. Okay. Hey, Oreo, stop it. Stop. Stop. Don't bite me. Hey, hey, Oreo, no. Okay. So these are some of the seeds we prepared earlier and uh, they are dried and they are ready for planting. So you see these are the Kayapa seedlings that are already dried. They look good and the seeds are very distinct. So I'll prepare the seed bed and soon after preparing the seed bed I will uh, plant them. Uh. So this looks good. Here's the seed bed we created earlier. And uh, look at some Kayapa fruits have fallen there. So we hope they'll start growing very soon. It's been raining, so we are hoping uh, we'll get a number of seedlings here. I'll, I'll update you as soon as they start growing I'll definitely update you guys uh, but I'm preparing seedbed number two so let me do that real quick and then we can plant our prepared seeds The seeds. I'm trying to get some work done here, Jumbo. You'll excuse me, Jumbo. Okay. Okay, Jumbo. I planted the first face of the. I was actually planting the first face here of the seed bed when uh, Nairobi teacher visited. So we are doing phase two. Hey, look at what Jumbo is doing. Jumbo thinks he's found a playground, like a sand pit. He wants to... Hope you dig up all the seeds. <laughs> Cindy? Yeah. Hmm? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's get this plant. Jumbo, you'll excuse me. Jumbo. Okay, you need help. Jum uh -oh. Jumbo, it's not a game, Jumbo. It's not a game. Okay. Then we have He's waiting for the seeds. That's why he's been eating that over here. So our seeds, our seeds, we just lay them in the trenches. That's what he's waiting for, I knew it. Okay, Jumbo, will excuse me. So here's where we've planted and 
and uh, so from this. So I'll just cover it gently. <laughs> So we've come to the end of this activity and it was a bit difficult, not difficult, it was a bit time consuming but at least we've managed to finish. Uh, thank you if you watched till the end of this video, thank you for, the, for watching and uh, please give the video a thumbs up if you like this kind of content you can also subscribe to the channel. Tomorrow I drop a new video on the series boys to men so stay tuned for that otherwise thank you to the new subscribers thank you to the old subscribers thank you for liking my videos thank you for commenting and all the support it is much appreciated uh, I'll keep you abreast with the developments on this seedbed as they keep growing uh, if you guys remember I promised uh, I will be teaching some siblings so <laughs> it's a project that definitely has to work Otherwise, thank you for watching. Until the next one, bye-bye.